Hello everyone, today I want to talk about a very important woman for the history of Brazilians and more specifically to Afro-Brazilians uh, who is Carolina Maria de Jesus. Carolina Maria de Jesus was the first black Brazilian writer to win both national and international acclaim. Carolina Maria de Jesus was born in Minas Gerais in between 1914 and 1921. Uh, we cannot be sure because at, at that time Afro-Brazilians did not have the right to have a birth certificate. So we don't know exactly how old she was at the time. After her mother's death, uh, when Carolina was about 20 years old, she moved to São Paulo near the area of Canindé. She used to work as a rubbish collector. She used to sell bags of collected paper and scrap iron for pennies. Okay, so that's how she survived. And from the books that she collected from the rubbish, she used to write uh, a diary of her experience as a woman, as a black woman, uh, living in a white society and writing about the difficulties, the struggles of uh, living the environment, living in the slum, living in the favelas. In 1958, Carolina met the journalist Audalio Dantas. And Audalio was really, really impressed by the fact that Carolina could speak so clearly and eloquently about her experiences and about her life as if she was educated as if she had been educated. Um, we have to consider that at the time, Afro-descendants had barely any right to education. So of course, when they spoke Portuguese, they would make mistakes because they were not educated. They didn't have access to education. So Dantas was really impressed by Carolina and he decided to publish her diary. And guess what? It was a hit. Everybody was curious to know more about this black Brazilian woman writing about the slums, about the favelas, in her very own words. Carolina was chastised at that time in the early 60s by many Brazilian authors, writers, journalists, who were claiming that Carolina was actually faking it. It was impossible for a black woman at that time to have her knowledge. But it was just sour grapes. Carolina was a big hit in the first decade after the 60s. So between the, the 60s, 70s and beginning of the 80s, she was a big hit. Her book was translated to more than 16 countries and she's studied even today in the academia in both Brazil and abroad. Of course, there was a period where her voice was silenced because of the dictatorship in Brazil. But after that, uh, many people started studying about her again and I would like to read a passage in her book to you now, which is really, really interesting. I went to the shoemaker to collect his waste paper. One of them asked me if my book was communistic. I replied that it was realistic. He cautioned me that it was not wise to write of reality. So this is something for you to think about. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you read more about Carolina. This was a very, very um, short and brief introduction about her life, about her his about her story. Uh, she's an amazing woman. She's black, uh, and you know we should be proud of her. We always uh, listen about Clarice Lispector, uh, Cora Coralina, and so on and so forth. But we need to praise other women, women that were oppressed. Uh, for a long time in our society and we need to praise them now. We need to understand what they were trying to tell us, okay? Because there is a message behind that. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.